20th ASABE Historic Landmark, the invention of the cotton gin, was designated in July 1985. As a result of the cotton gin, a new worldwide industry brought prosperity to the South at the beginning of the 19th century. Eli Whitney was the son of a frugal Massachusetts farmer. A skillful mechanic, between 16 and 18, he made good profits producing nails to replace those unavailable from abroad because of the Revolution. He entered Yale College at the age of 24. He excelled at math and physics and studied classics and literature from necessity. Upon graduation, he engaged himself as a tutor to a gentleman from Georgia. On the boat to Savannah, he met Catherine Green, widow of Revolutionary War General Nathaniel Green. On arrival, he found that his job was no longer available. Mrs. Green invited him to live at her plantation. Through his mechanical skills, he made himself useful. Whitney quickly learned that southern planters were in desperate need of a way to make growing cotton profitable. The one variety that grew inland had sticky green seeds that were time-consuming to remove from the fluffy white cotton balls. He secluded himself for 10 days in the spring of 1793 with a basket of cotton balls. He discovered that a hooked wire could pull the lint through a slot in the basket, leaving the seeds inside. In his patent application, Whitney described the process as consisting of spikes driven into a wooden cylinder and having a slotted bar through which these spikes passed and having a brush to clean the spikes. The result was a hand-operated cotton gin which produced over 50 pounds per person per day. It was patented on March 14, 1794, and the patent was signed by President George Washington. Although Whitney's invention is highlighted, the landmark plaque also recognizes an allied development by Henry Ogden Holmes of Georgia, a resourceful, practical mechanic on the Kincaid Plantation of Fairfield County, South Carolina. He invented an improved gin and was granted a patent on May 12, 1796. His continuous flow machine, capable of ginning thousands of pounds per day, was still in use in 1985. Whitney spent a decade fighting patent infringements, and by 1804, years of litigation left him nearly penniless. He later moved north and gained additional fame as the father of interchangeable parts when manufacturing muskets for the War of 1812. It has been said that Whitney, by inventing the cotton gin, made slavery profitable in the south, and by developing mass production made manufacturing efficient in the north thereby doing more than any other person to ensure Southern participation and Northern victory in the American Civil War. An ASABE plaque commemorating development of the cotton gin is located in a park area outside the Cotton Exchange Commission building in Savannah, Georgia.